you say it's too late. It's too late to learn English. But you started two years ago, and you've been studying very well for two years. I understand that you're already 97 years old, but you started two years ago when you were 95. It's never too late. It makes no sense to stop now. No tiene sentido parar ahora. Llevas, llevas dos, dos años de carrerilla con el inglés. And now you're only 97. Huh? You're still a two-digit person, not three. So now is the time to make an even stronger effort. It's, it's, it's not too late now. It makes no sense. It makes no sense, no tiene sentido, or it doesn't make any sense to stop now. You need to continue. Come on, you're only 97 years old. It's never too late. Si la dicha es buena. You know this expression in Spanish. We have the expression in English, it's never too late. Especially if you have something good and learning English is important. It's never too late. It makes no sense to give up now. Welcome to another exciting class in which we'll be looking at the following lengthy sentence. Lengthy significa, pues, largo, obviamente. It may be too late, but it makes no sense to give up now. ¿Qué significa? Puede que sea demasiado tarde, pero no tiene sentido abandonar ahora. Como siempre, iremos por partes, ¿vale? Empezando con la primera oración. It may be too late. Puede que sea demasiado tarde. Aquí tenemos el verbo auxiliar may, también, como siempre, seguido por otro expresado en el infinitivo. It may be too late. En muchas ocasiones, los verbos auxiliares, auxiliares a veces me sale, may y might, pues son intercambiables. Lo que pasa es que cuando le sigue a una oración otra, empezando con but, solemos decir it may be too late, en lugar de it might be too late. It might be too late. A secas está muy bien. A lo mejor es demasiado tarde. It might be too late. Ahora sí, it may be too late. Puede que sea demasiado tarde, but it makes no sense to give up now. Pero no tiene sentido ninguno abandonar ahora. Muy bien. Some people say I may be a tough boss. Some people say I may be a little demanding. Some people say I may be a little strict, but I think I may be a little bit myself, but at least I'm not Felicity. Some people can learn and change, but it may be too late for her. I mean, she may be a little crazy at times. No, she may be a little crazy all the time. At least I'm not George. He may be a little slow at times but at least his English is perfect. And Felicity too, her English is perfect. So it may be a good time for you to start studying English. Come on, repeat with me. It may be a good time to start studying English. It may be a good time to start studying English. You may think it's too late, but it's never too late to start studying English. Bien, voy a empezar la segunda parte de nuestra clase de hoy confirmando algo que siempre sospechabais. Y eso es que las cosas en inglés no tienen sentido. Y os voy a explicar por qué. Porque las cosas en inglés no tienen sentido. Las cosas en inglés hacen sentido. Nosotros decimos things make sense o things don't make sense, siempre con el verbo to make, ¿ok? Bien, entonces, dentro del contexto de nuestra frase de hoy, it may be too late, puede que sea demasiado tarde, but, y por eso hemos empleado may en lugar de might, recordaros, it may be too late, but it makes no sense, que significa que no tiene sentido alguno, no tiene sentido. También podríamos decir it doesn't make sense, o sea que aquí, tenemos dos opciones, but it makes no sense o but it doesn't make sense. Y luego seguiríamos con un verbo expresado en infinitivo con to. It doesn't make any sense to carry on. It makes no sense to carry on. It doesn't make any sense to finish now. 
but we have to finish now. I know it doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense, but they're telling me we have to finish. Adios. No, Rosa, in English we say chocolate. We don't say chocolate. Cho two syllables, yeah. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Don't get mad at me. It, it makes no sense to get angry at me. It, I'm just trying to help you with your English, Rosa. It makes no sense. Un segundo. Fíjate. En inglés, para decir no tiene sentido, hay que decir it makes no sense. It makes no sense. Or it doesn't make any sense. Rosa, it makes no sense to get angry. Jealous? Why would I be jealous? I'm not jealous. It makes no sense to get jealous. It makes no sense to get upset about all these little things. What? You're going for hot chocolate with Mike? The waiter? It makes no sense. You're going for hot chocolate with him. That makes no sense. He's leading you on. Come on. It makes no sense. Bien, empezamos la tercera parte de nuestra clase con un verbo compuesto. Eso es, señores y señoras. Lo que más os gusta del inglés siempre son los phrasal verbs. Yo lo sé. Bien, y el phrasal verb o verbo compuesto en cuestión hoy es to give up. Bien, to give up significa abandonar, ¿vale? Abandonar algo. Puede ir con otro verbo, por ejemplo, to give up smoking, dejar de fumar, abandonar el fumo, el tabaco. O a secas, to give up, abandonar. Bien, vamos a verlo dentro del contexto de nuestra frase. It may be too late, but it makes no sense to give up now. Puede que sea demasiado tarde, pero no tiene sentido abandonar ahora. O podríamos decir, it makes no sense to give up at this stage. At this stage es nuestra palabra o expresión del día. At this stage. Stage. No decimos a stage, sino stage. At this stage. A estas alturas. Ya hemos visto últimamente eh, la expresión a estas alturas de la semana. La semana que viene. A estas alturas del mes que viene. This time next week. This time next month. Is, uh, um, a estas alturas a secas. At this stage. It may be too late. But it makes no sense to give up now. Or it makes no sense to give up at this stage. See you soon. Ciao. Hey. How's it going? The love of my life, Maria, is about to get married. And I'm going to the wedding. <sighs> but I'm not going to give up now. Hey? No, no, no. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to tell her how I feel. Yeah. Mike the barman doesn't give up. No. And it beats me how she likes the other guy. I mean, look at me. No. I'm not going to give up. She's probably waiting there now in the wedding, waiting for her, her hero to go and rescue her. A hero doesn't give up. Tell me. Don't give up, Mike. Come on. Say it with more confidence. Say, don't give up, Mike. No, I'm not going to give up. You're not going to give up, are you? Okay. I think I'm ready. Oh. It's Jennifer, the date from last week. Hello? A coffee now? <laughs>